Hey guys, it's Dana. Good morning. It's check-in time, chat time, HCG chat talk by Dana. Um, so let's see. So I just returned from a four-day little vacay in New York. Um, had a great time, had perfect weather. Any of you guys in New York know that you guys are really having some nice weather for your December right now. Um, so here's the deal. So I was great. I really um, just ate as clean as possible, made sure that I got at least three to four liters of water every single day because I just knew that water was going to be the kicker for me for sure. Um, since there's just so much walking around and, you know, I don't walk all day long here <laughs> when I'm at home. So I knew that that was going to be an adjustment on my body. So I just really just drank so much water, um, and tea and coffee and then ate as clean as possible. I mean, you know what it's like when you're eating three meals a day out at restaurants. I mean, you never really know what they're putting in your food. So as long as the, you know main portion of the food, you know, is eating within guidelines, and, you know, of course there's going to be sodium, and I knew it was going to gain a little, but I knew it would, you know, once I got home and started eating clean again, I'll be okay, so, um, it was great, I didn't indulge at all, I did not even have any cravings, I walked by every cupcake shop on every corner, every little bakery, coffee, I mean, there's just, you know how it is, it was just so, it's all about food in New York, there's a restaurant every two feet. So, um, and I was good. I'll tell you, I mean, the only thing I probably ate that I, or had that I really shouldn't, I mean, which was okay, because I'm in P3, P4, I had a couple glasses of wine, and that was fine. So it was, it was good. It was really good overall, but really the most important message is that I was completely able to be around people who were eating just in a crazy city with lots of food, and didn't have a single problem. So that's how you know that your hypothalamus is reset, your head is in a new place, and you're living just a healthy, clean lifestyle. And I am. And so I am so thrilled for that. Um, I've been really following um, uh, the paleo, for the most part. The pa I think it's pronounced paleo, P-A-L-E-O, paleo lifestyle which is really just, um, you know, very HCG friendly like, I mean, it's just very clean eating. Um, it's nothing processed. The only difference with paleo is that they, most, you know, uh, people who follow paleo don't do dairy at all. Um, that's a little hard for me. So I'm not going to be so strict with that, but everything else is really just, um, it's mainly just a lot of, uh, it's just all about what our, you know, ancestors ate and, you know, back in the caveman days, what did they eat? So it's just, you know, proteins and veggies and fruits and nuts and stuff like that. But to be honest, I mean, I have been reading a lot about the whole fruit and nut thing and the omega-3 versus the omega-6 and gosh, guys, there's so much information out there and like you can't follow it all and you can't stick to it all either because it's just way too much. So overall, as long as you're healthy and feeling good and making the right choices, you're definitely off to an amazing start and an amazing lifestyle that half of the other world is not living. So you should be good. But, you know, I didn't, I eat a lot of nuts. You know, when we're on this plan, it's like, you know, you, you got to get your calories up. So I like my nuts, and I didn't really know that, you know, of course it's it's hard to just eat a serving of nuts, <laughs> we all know that, but I wasn't aware of this whole omega-6 versus omega-3 thing, um, and I think that nuts are super high in omega-6, and sometimes, you know, if we overload on nuts, it's it can almost be borderline toxic to the body. I don't know. I haven't, you know, done enough digging about it, but maybe some of you guys might know about it. Um, anyways, I try and balance my omegas just by adding omega-3, like flax oil and stuff to my smoothies or whatever, to my salad dressings, stuff like that. Um, so that was an interesting thing I read a lot about this week was, uh, the whole omega-3 versus omega-6 in nuts. Um, they were saying that definitely without fail macadamia nuts 
number one on the list. I mean, not even, you know, without comparison. I mean, it was really interesting. I, I encourage you guys, if you're interested in any of this, go to paleolifestyle.com. There's amazing recipes and amazing articles. Super easy to read, not really scientific or technical at all, and just fascinating. For any of you who are, um, you know, kind of coming off P2 and ready to start your P3, P4 journey, I highly recommend it because it's very HCG compliant, um, protocol compliant. So it's good stuff, you guys. I'm really enjoying learning and reading about this paleo stuff. Um, what else did they say? Uh, la, 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 la. I don't know. I had so much I wanted to talk about. I never write it down. So let's see. So we're approaching more holidays and again, I'm just going to try and eat really clean. I'm at my high range right now. I mean, I'm over LDW. I'm definitely at least, um, I don't know, maybe three to four pounds over LIW. I just got back yesterday from New York, so I'm just eating clean. I'm not correcting. You kind of get to a point when you're like deep into P3, P4 that you're kind of overcorrecting. <laughs> I'm sure you guys who are there know what I'm talking about because eating clean does it, you know? We go up, we go down. We go up, we go down. But at least we know how to go down, and that's the most important message, you guys. We know that eating clean will work, and if we have to do a correction day, it's there. So it's all good stuff. Um, I know there's some other things I wanted to talk about. I don't know. I definitely haven't, in, you know, indulged in, you know, sugar and major starches or anything like that. I'm still um, keeping it pretty simple. I just don't want to overload. And I know, you know, when you're in P4, I know you can start adding things and experimenting, but, you know, I know myself and I know if I start, it just, it could potentially be a downward spiral. So I'm just kind of trying not to do that. Um, I don't crave it really. So why do it? I mean, I'll tell you like when I am having like certain kind of cravings, I'll reach for maybe like sugar or something, which I rarely do, you know, sometimes I'll reach for a little bit of dried fruit, and I know that that's not always the best thing, but I think it's better than a cupcake. I mean, I know the sugar in it is just fructose, and I know fructose definitely is not really all that great for us. Um, that's another thing about the whole paleo lifestyle. They really urge you not to eat a ton of fruit. Um, but that's okay, and I already knew that because, you know, I wasn't eating, I was rarely eating my two servings of fruit on um, HCG in phase two because, you know, my body is quite fructose sensitive, and a little bit of fruit can create other cravings for some of you. You know, that's a good point, too, I'd like to make. Um, a lot of times, you know, it's funny, I used to say before HCG that I gain weight in, if I eat an apple, and the reality is, is that... <laughs> I'm fairly certain that's true. I mean, because it's what the fructose does to you afterwards. I mean, it really, it's, it is a form of sugar. And so it acts as that and it spikes your blood sugar, I think something like that. And it creates other types of cravings. So you really do have to be careful when you eat fruit. Um, what else? I don't know. I'm just rambling. I didn't want to ramble. I'm sorry, but I think I made a few good points. <laughs> I hope. Anyways, clean eating for me the next few days. Um, well, definitely the next few weeks. I'm going to try and stick as clean as possible. I'm off again on another two-week vacation, December 21st. So want to have things all in control before that. And um, hopefully it won't create much of an issue. All right, guys, this is getting too long. Lots of love to all of you in every phase that you're on, and um, thanks to all my subscribers. Thank you for following me. Thank you for all your comments, and it um, means a lot to me. We're all in this together. Talk to you soon. Bye.